Did you know that arthritis, a condition that affects over 350 million people worldwide, can be significantly influenced by what you eat? It's true. Arthritis, a disease characterized painful inflammation and stiffness of the joints, doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's in dialogue with your lifestyle, your environment, and yes, your diet. Food, fuel of life, possesses a potent unseen connection to arthritis. The things we consume can be our greatest allies or our worst enemies in managing this condition. Before we continue, if you're finding this information useful or if you're interested in learning more about this topic, please do us a favor and hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. We appreciate your support. Going back to our topic, certain foods rich in inflammatory compounds have power to exacerbate arthritis symptoms, turning a manageable condition into a daily struggle. From the sugar in your morning coffee to the omega-6 fatty acids in your evening meal, each bite possesses the to either soothe or inflame your joints. Today we delve into the five foods that are the worst offenders, arthritis sufferers. Let's lift the lid on the dietary culprits that could be aggravating your arthritis. First on our list, and perhaps the sneakiest of all, is sugar. Sugar, particularly the processed kind, is a major culprit when it comes to inflammation and exacerbating arthritis symptoms. But why is that, you may ask? Well, when we consume sugar, our bodies release inflammatory messengers called cytokines. These little troublemakers can kickstart an inflammatory response, leading to increased pain and swelling in our joints. It's like throwing gasoline on a fire. Now, you might be thinking, I don't eat much sugar. But the truth is, sugar is often hidden in places we least expect it. It's not just about avoiding the obvious culprits like candy bars and soda. Processed sugar can be found lurking in everyday items like bread, sauces, and even supposedly healthy snacks like granola bars. And let's not forget about those tricky labels. Manufacturers often use words like fructose, dextrose, maltose to disguise sugar on their ingredient lists. So it's important to be a savvy label reader and know what to look out for. Reducing your sugar intake can have a significant impact on managing arthritis symptoms. It's not just about cutting out sweets, but about making conscious choices and being aware of what goes into your body. So, the next time you reach for that sweet treat, remember the potential impact on your joints. It's not about deprivation, but about making smart choices for your health. Moving on to our second culprit, saturated fats. It's important to know that not all fats are created equal. While some fats, like those found in avocados and fish, can be beneficial for your health, saturated fats are a different beast altogether. Saturated fats are usually found in animal products and processed foods. Think of your favorite steak or that mouth-watering burger, or even that tub of ice cream you reach out for on a sunny day. Yes, these are all high in saturated fats. But how exactly do they affect your body, especially if you're dealing with arthritis? Well, it's simple. When you consume foods high in saturated fats, it can trigger an inflammatory response in your body. This is because saturated fats are known to increase the levels of a protein complex called nuclear factor kappa B or NFKB. This protein complex is responsible for controlling the DNA transcription of your cells, leading to the production of inflammatory cytokines. Increased inflammation, as we know, can exacerbate arthritis symptoms, causing more pain and discomfort. So, what's the takeaway here? It's all about moderation. While it's not necessary to completely eliminate saturated fats from your diet, it's crucial to limit your intake. Remember, diet plays a significant role in managing arthritis symptoms. Making mindful choices can go a long way in keeping the pain and inflammation at bay. While some fats are good for you, saturated fats are a different story for those with arthritis. Third on our list are two proteins often found together, gluten and casein. You might have heard of gluten, the protein found in wheat, barley and rye. Casein, on the other hand, is a protein found in dairy products. Now, what's the big deal about these two? Well, it turns out, for some folks, these proteins can be a bit of a troublemaker. Let's dive a little deeper. When we consume foods containing gluten and casein, our bodies break them down into smaller substances known as peptides. In some individuals, these peptides can trigger an inflammatory response, leading to increased joint pain and inflammation. This is particularly problematic for those already grappling with arthritis, as it can exacerbate their symptoms. Now, it's important to note that not everyone will have this reaction, but for those who do, it can make a significant difference in their quality of life. It's a bit like a food sensitivity. 
Not everyone has them, but for those who do, avoiding certain foods can make a world of difference. So what can you do? If you suspect gluten or casein might be worsening your arthritis symptoms, it may be worth considering a trial elimination of these proteins from your diet. This means cutting out foods like bread, pasta, cheese and milk at least for a time to see if your symptoms improve. It's worth considering a trial elimination of these proteins to see if your symptoms improve. Fourth, we have an essential nutrient that can turn into a foe in excess. Omega-6 fatty acids. Yes, you heard it right. The omega-6 fatty acids that we often hear about as being beneficial for our health can actually be harmful in large amounts. The catch here is balance. Our bodies need a healthy ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. However, the modern diet often overloads us with omega-6, tipping this balance and leading to increased inflammation, which can worsen arthritis symptoms. Common culprits of this overload include processed foods, fast foods, and certain oils like corn, sunflower, and soybean oil. It's important to know that these omega-6 fatty acids aren't bad. They're essential for our health, but like with most things in life, too much of a good thing can become a problem. Remember, it's all about balance when it comes to these fatty acids. Finally, we come to a controversial group of foods known as nightshades. Nightshades, a family of plants that include tomatoes, potatoes and eggplants, have been in the spotlight for a while. Some arthritis sufferers have reported an increase in their symptoms after consuming these foods. They argue that these plants contain certain compounds that might aggravate inflammation and joint pain. However, it's crucial to note that this is anecdotal evidence and scientific studies are yet to conclusively establish this connection. While the research is ongoing and the jury is still out, if you find yourself dealing with a flare after a hearty nightshade meal, it might be worth considering a little dietary adjustment. So there you have it, the five worst foods for arthritis. We've covered sugar, fats, gluten and casein, omega-6 and nightshades. Each can potentially exacerbate arthritis symptoms. Everyone is unique. What worsens symptoms for one person might not for another. Listen to your body and adjust your diet accordingly to live a healthier, pain-free life. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.